And that's the thing I've always said there. We've never had an accident in this club because we went too slow. It's always come charging in and ramming into the something. You know, I mean, that's not the way to do it. Especially like when we raft up. We come into the raft up real slow. The people will be there to... There's a lot of, of uh, things that I've added. Like I have wheel flush. It's on the other side. <laughs> hook your faucet up, water up to it, and if lines come here and flush the brakes out to help you do that. Uh, let's see, I, I'm just hitting on some of the things. Emergency tiller, I have an emergency tiller, and you should figure one out. On a boat like this with two rudders, you can actually lay something across here and steer with this. If you loosen your engine, so you're, it's really, does that make sense? Well, let's say you have a gin pole. Let's say you have a, a boat hook. And it lays it right across here, up here high, so it clears up there. And you lash it on real tight, and you steer it like a tiller. The original steering cable in, in, in this model will fail you. Mine, I got a new one, like in the second year, fail. Same thing, same problem. It gets, there's no way to grease it. Now, why they don't put a zerk in there, but that's a problem, so I got another one from another company, and I can't remember who it is, but it's... It's all a nut, Murph, that goes on the end of the shaft, uh, that's got a grease fitting in it. They do, well they didn't, I didn't. oh they sell one, you said. oh okay, <coughs> well... Kind of like wet bolts on the track. All I'm saying is, within this club, you can find the answer to most every question, there's, there's another answer. Um, I have up on the bow, a little line here, that goes from there to a pulley and then goes to the top of the sail when it's up. And if you get in a situation you want to drop your sail real fast, pull it down and you force it down. Now we had, a, 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 if you have to come into a, a dock and you can't, don't have an engine, don't use your mast, the main sail. <coughs> use your jib because if the wind's behind you, and it's heading you into the dock, how are you going to stop? When you can't get the sail down, it binds. So you take a head sail and let it loose, it flies like a, like a fly. And you can pull it down too. On the ground, I release that line up forward and release these bolts that are safety bolts in there. So that doesn't fall down otherwise. And these docks here are, I've never hit bottom with these, and this is the same length as the popsicle sticks that came originally, and I've never hit bottom with it. So, you, you know, here we're in pretty good shape as far as the angle goes. Okay, in the cockpit I have six jobs to do. Take care of the windex, the backstay, <coughs> undo the mast, and all the lines that are attached. There's one up there. It's already loose. I already did it. What am I doing? All I want to do now is get the mass loose. Instead of moving your instead of moving your gen pole around, the pole that raises helps you raise the mass, just leave it where it is. For those that this works on. Now I don't know how you'd do it. Maybe you can't do it if you have the new one. Maybe you don't need it. How's that, guys? I haven't touched it. <laughs> Whoops, what's caught? <laughs> Lost my rent bolt. OK, 
Okay, somebody come over here as a volunteer to pull on this. See how here? <laughs> okay, now I would be standing on the bottom. You'd be up here. I normally would be right here. Okay. But I just want to give you an idea how heavy it is. I want to see you do it with your pinky. With my pinky that never... Yeah, let's do it. That's why I have enough. If you want to keep sticking. Now if you slip right here, it's going down. You're damn right. <laughs> I'm going to... It's not that I don't trust you, but I got a brake here. If, you, if I put the brakes on, you can't move it. Now, what are you standing on? I'm just standing. Okay, how's the where, how's the brake? Oh, the brake works there. I braked it. Now I give it to you and put the brake on. Okay. Now you're now stop right here. You see what I've done here? This is a link between this and this here, which bolts into the bottom. But again. If you've got the new mass raising system, you want to think a lot before you transfer to this. I'm not, I don't know, I can't really give you all the pros and cons on it. But it certainly, this certainly is better than having it attached from here, down there, and then have them go back there, because I don't have enough leverage. So you took, you took the original mass raising and you just added a length of it? All I did was, yeah, you can buy this, add it a length, and then cut a slot in it, but you have to have this piece here. You have to have this little triangular piece which you can make. It's a hole at the top and two at the bottom. And then it's kept in place with this. I actually don't really probably need this because it's always on a down, it's pulling pulling against it, but it's good. Go ahead, pull it down. Actually you could put it, you could now technically do it yourself, right? Yeah. yeah. See? And I do. And then I'll sit on it. And I got a lot of advantage there. But here, here is what they call a, you can't see it from back there, but this is called a shroud tensioner, tensioner that's the word, a shroud tensioner, and I'll, I'll show you how that works. All right, now, then I have the adjuster, which I can pull and really puts the pressure on. Technically, you don't need to do anything more than the block and tackle. You could get by with just leaving the block and tackle in place if you wanted to, but I don't. Storing the gin pole the way I did, it's out of the way and I can still have the whisker pole available so they don't interfere with each other. That is when you're going downwind and you put your main out this way, you put your whisker pull to push the jib or genoa out that way and you have wing to wing. Okay. Otherwise the, mat, the boom will hold this one out. Normally I would have put the head sail on too now. Come back here and my main thing is to put the boom on, hook up. I have here my, my back stay. And it happens to be cut to length so that I don't have to coil it up back there. You see, other part of it I showed you when I started. So I put them together just with a little snap. And the other one is a topping lift which goes on the end of the boom. So when you take the sail down, the boom doesn't fall down. The big thing safety-wise to have a topping lift is it's to lift the boom up so it doesn't fall down. One of the main advantages to that is if you have to reef and you, take, you, you can get these little pigtails where they just tie, a, they tie onto your backstay and you've got your boom hanging but it can only go that far. What if the wind starts hitting you? You can't reef. So with, with, with having a topping lift which is on the end of the boom, the boom can go clear over to here and you just always want to be into the wind. And you got all that leeway to go with the boom. And you can do your rigging with the sail. But if you tie your boom down where it can't swing, you're going to have trouble. 